Yeah, I think that song speaks for itself. <laughs> As the internet was really taking off, especially with online auctions like places like eBay, as I start to look up these records, I'm kind of discovering that, again, not knowing what I had, they're going for hundreds of dollars and being sold from overseas collectors and, you know, Great Britain. And, and then from there, I kind of like started doing my own digging, so to speak, around, you know, Austin, San Antonio, you know, parts of South Texas to kind of find more of these gems. So this is a sought after record by a gentleman named uh, Demis Garza who was uh, part of the Royal Jesters, and um, he was a signature kind of voice within that group that was fronted uh, by Oscar Lawson and Henry Hernandez, as the two founders of the Royal Jesters. Um, when Henry Hernandez went away, he got kind of drafted into uh, in, to the army. Um, Demas came in, he was a kiddo with another group called the Lyrics, and then before that, the Cool Dips, and uh, before he joined the Jesters. And around the time of the Jesters, he kind of did his own thing. And this is one of the tracks that he did. And it's a uh, very heavily admired and very associated with the San Antonio sound. There's value because they were, they're old and as I say, they're like heirlooms from a specific time period. And the reason why they have high value is because a lot of these groups um, didn't have major label distribution, so to speak. So at the time, they can only either afford to press, you know, a limited number amount of copies, uh, usually around 100. No pressing plant would basically take your business and just do one. Um, they basically had a minimum order of, you know, 50 to 100, you know, whatever it was at that time. So you find something from, you know, an artist like Danny and the Dreamers or something like that, there's usually only 100 press. And so if you find one, you're one of those 1 in 100 in the world that has one. And I'm sure out of those 100, there's like maybe 50 that exist and the other 50 are like broken or trashed or something, you know. This is actually a, a great example of uh, of a tune that already had its sound. It was already well known. And then you had a group from San Antonio, uh, Danny and the Dreamers, who they covered it. And it just transitioned into a completely different song. And, and when I talk about, you know, those, uh, you know, drunken horns and, and those kind of like vocals that had this kind of teenage kind of poetry on them, uh, this is that song. organ, you got those kind of drunken type horns, and then you got that kind of teenage vocal, you know, the guitar landing with the snare. It, it, it's like the classic Westside sound transformed from a bigger sound from like Motown. 